Hey guys, it's Clary, and today I'll be showing you how to download your server world for single player. Firstly, I'm going to be showing you the method for the Java version. I have a Java world here I want to download, so what you have to do is head to your VPS and then into your service. Then head to files and select the world folder of your world. Once you've done that, press download on it. That will download your world as a .tar file. Next, locate the source of that file, and from there we're going to right click and extract a zip file so we can actually use it later. Once that's done, you can double click the folder to open it up. It should look like this inside. Now ensure you remember what this is saved and minimized as I'm going to show you how to use that world in single player. The next step is to press the Windows and the R key at the same time to open up this window. Make sure app data percentage is written, like so, and then press enter. That will open up a files explorer window and then all you have to do is locate the .minecraft folder. Scroll down until you see saves and open that up. Now all you have to do is head back to the extracted world folder we extracted before and drag that into the save section. Once that's uploaded, double click it to ensure these files are shown inside. Mine are shown as intended, so I'm going to be opening up Minecraft and then pressing single player. As you can see, the world is there and then when we enter, it's the same world as the one on the server. I have a bedrock world here I want to download, so what you have to do is head into your VPS and into your service. Head to files and then select the worlds folder. This is where you'll be able to locate your server's world. Once you've done that, press download. That will download your world as a .tar file. Next, locate the source of the file, and then we're going to right click and extract the zip file so we can use it later. Once that's done, double click it for the folder to open up. It should look like this inside. For now, minimize this as we'll need it shortly. Now we're going to have to press the Windows and R key at the same time, and when this window pops up, ensure you enter percentage local app data percentage. Once that's done, find the packages folder and open that up. Then locate the microsoft.minecraft folder. It'll look like it has a lot of random letters, but just ensure it looks like this. Then press local state, games, com.mojang and open Minecraft worlds. This is where the world folders are stored. They look like they have random letters for names, but that's completely normal. What you want to do now is open up the minimized window from earlier, locate the world we extracted and then drag the folder in there. You then want to rename the world to something without spaces. Once that's done, you can now open up Bedrock. Once you're in the game, head to play and you'll be able to see the world at the very top. I'm going to quickly go into it just to make sure it's the same world and ta-da! My sign from earlier is still there, so it's the same world. I hope I was able to assist you in setting up your server. If you have any further questions, please leave a comment down below or contact our support. Bye guys!